Hello, hello, language transferees. Um, I know it's been a long time since I've given you all an update on the project, uh, but I was waiting to figure and find a few things out before I did. Uh, and, and here it is. I will be reading in the interests of coherence. So, so please bear with me. So I'd put a new limit on the Patreon campaign for 2019 uh, that we'd need to cross for me to continue working full time. And we're now firmly in 2019 and we haven't gotten anywhere near to crossing that milestone. And I was actually quite relieved about that. Um, and let me explain why. So as most people should know, although it is something that consistently seems to go over people's heads, uh, language transfer is the work of just one person. <laughs> Everything you see on the site has been done by me and I say and write we uh, everywhere when I talk about language transfer but that's because I include the donors and the volunteer native speakers who check my work for errors but it is essentially just me with the absolute minimum uh, of help and support necessary to have created this strange empire. Uh, also I grew up monolingual, I don't just happen to speak the languages I teach, I've learned almost all of them in order to create the courses. So I'm repeating this so that people can just begin to imagine how much work setting up this project uh, has meant. And whilst I've enjoyed, whilst I've enjoyed a lot of it, uh, I let the enjoyment of it fall to the back of the list of my priorities because I've always taken so seriously uh, the fact that both myself and LT are running off your donations but I have taken that too far and sacrificed my social life personal hobbies such as music and most importantly you know just generally looking after myself and uh, feeling obliged you know to invest all of that time and energy into language transfer and this is probably no one else's fault but my own but you can imagine how easy it is to to get like that when everyone is you know waiting for your material uh, you're juggling all of those demands on yourself with an extreme lack of resources uh, yet trying to be worth five times the donations that you're receiving all the time and all the while slipping into an almost absolute isolation working by yourself uh, day after day. Um, I can't believe it's been nearly a year already that I left Asturias but you know included in that was a one and a half year stint in an isolated village of 30 people with no shops or anything you know to be able to to afford to work full-time on this project um, it hasn't been easy but I've I've cracked on with it and in doing so I have made a debt with myself that I have to settle the most important of these debts is with my health so I've always reacted emotionally through the through the gut <laughs> and this has gotten really bad over the last couple of years and as the stress and pressure has increased from the project and I think the Swahili commissioning really just was like the end of my sanity. With all of that I started uh, to bleed from places that I really shouldn't. Um, and uh, this is partly why the update was delayed because I was waiting uh, to get some results before talking about this. So I'm very relieved to say that you know the cancer tests have come back negative and but I do have ulcers and inflammation in my large intestine feels like random this is random information you wasn't expecting from this video <laughs> uh, so yeah I have this inflammation with no definitive evidence yet as to why that happens which does go to confirming my personal suspicions about how it flares up with stress and how I've noticed it flare up with stress and you know I have more tests pending and whatever but you know what is clear is that I need to reduce my stress level significantly and also have a bit more time to look after myself and you know those two things collectively uh, have really affected my ability to concentrate which has made this all the more difficult because with inflammation you don't get the nutrition you need and you know one of the symptoms of this is a is a lack of concentration and you know now I think about how heinous it was to do the audio editing and I understand much more you know why that was driving me absolutely insane and producing a lot of anxiety as well all of that I've just taken it as part and parcel of this project because I really do esteem to a level that I can't describe the fact that you know I'm running off of donations I take that as something like sacred and and too much <laughs> I realize I've been doing that too much but you know I'm more than sure that this will be good news for the language transfer project 
uh, which is after all, you know, still but an extension of myself. And so I'd need to prioritize myself for that reason anyway. But, you know, I, I know uh, that when I'm in my best state, I have my best ideas and produce my best work. So uh, also on that level, uh, it makes sense. <laughs> I've adjusted the campaign milestones to allow myself just $1,000 per month for working part-time on language transfer. Um, if I need to top that up, I will make private courses, um, but hopefully I won't need that. You know, I can live basically and just enjoy more time for myself. And further milestones on the campaign will now go, will now go to media production and dissemination to get more support into language transfer, language transfer out more, of course. And uh, then further milestones to having a physical space for language transfer uh, to hopefully fill that with a team of course writers because I really do still have that dream. I really do have much more energy for language transfer but not so much energy to continue working on my own as I've said. I am though super excited about training other teachers uh, and this is you know this fantasy I have about this workshop where I'm just facilitating other teachers in writing courses and getting much more courses created and and that that really needs to happen and uh, teaching teachers really is the most optimal optimal optimum <laughs> use of my time as well you know uh, and I have a course starting at the end of the month in London for course writers there are still a few spaces available I'll put a link below and there's people flying in from Latin America and the Middle East to build courses and I really just can't wait uh, to start that and to work with people <laughs> uh, I feel a bit sorry for them because I'm you know I feel like I'm going to sink my teeth into them a little bit because I'm just so excited you know about working with other people after such a long time so that's the deal LT is now a part-time project uh, for me and it will be full-time again uh, whenever and wherever there is a team so meanwhile I'll be working mainly on the language transfer on, on the thinking method guidebook and on a new website which will hopefully do a better job at conveying what lt is and wants to become or needs to become um i wasn't planning to make a new site but i do feel obliged to leave wix because they i posted about this and maybe around a month ago because they didn't correct a billing error and practically stole around 140 dollars of your donations i'm afraid um feel free to write to them and complain um, but I am taking that as a blessing, you know, firstly to leave Wix because they are pretty terrible and also to redesign the site. Following the completion of the new site, which will be in March, um, I'll get back to creating uh, new material and looking for folk to expand this project. So thank you for listening to all of this. Uh, if you think I do deserve to work any other way but slavishly and want to see language transfer finally take over the world then please do join the patreon campaign at patreon.com forward slash language transfer or make a donation uh, links below any questions please post below and if you excuse me i'm gonna go and play my violin like a happy fairy <laughs> And then I'm going to do some work. <laughs>